So, we're getting close to football time. I'm super excited. I'm not super excited for the the negative aspects of football. And, you know, that is, if you're a parent, that is the normal things. You know, aches, pains, uh, grumpiness, complaining, all that stuff. I mean, I'm not complaining about it at all because that is the nature of the game. I mean, you have to go through those motions or you're just there just because. And that's not worth it, is it? Not worth being somewhere where you're... You don't think that you're you're wanted, but on a football team, on a basketball team, on any sports team, you are needed. Maybe not in the biggest uh, the biggest spotlight or the most time, uh, but you're still needed. Because uh, if you can't give the athleticism, if you can't participate. You know, you can always uh, show support. You can always uh, lift up other people, even if they're not doing great. Another thing I love about football is the amount of people that actually watch the games. It gets pretty, uh, pretty hectic sometimes. Um, if the games are close... You know, that type of stuff will uh, throw you through a loop. But I think that's, for the most part, what uh, most of these football players live for anyways. And not just them, of course. But, uh, you know, the parents, the, uh, uh, the coaches. I mean, they're there, you know, hopefully through their own free will. And, and you know, they're... They're wanting to be a, a part of these kids' lives and, and do great things, uh, not just for them, but for themselves. Because you know you're gonna you're gonna lift yourself up if you do great things or if you help someone else uh, overcome obstacles. That's a good feeling. It's an awesome feeling. I remember when I I helped become uh, or I I helped coach basketball from middle school when my son was playing and uh, the amount of the amount of kids that need um, positivity and, and uplifting and and just pointers uh, things to try things to do things to think about you know that really goes a long way if you get through to someone and it can really uh, impact their lives um not just now, but, you know, many years down the road, especially if you're consistent. If you're consistent, the great thing about being consistent with someone that uh, that you can help is that maybe they don't always need it, but maybe them in return, as they get older, can do the same thing for someone else and pass it on. Love is something you have to give. Uh, don't always bottle it in. It's not worth it. It's not worth just being by yourself and always um, and always just being selfish. I'd rather be selfish with uh, helping other people. And I don't like talk about things that I <clears throat> that I do for people. You know, the kindness and stuff. It's not like something that I I talk about but you know like I don't know give someone five bucks or you know give someone a, a compliment that it really goes a long ways especially when uh, people have you know different lives they go through different motions and maybe they don't have it as easy you know like maybe there's a a mom that has three kids they got to pick up at noon and uh, they got to rush to take them somewhere else. And then during their lunch break, then they got to go back to work. And, you know, now they only get like 20 minutes to themselves. That's a thing that happens. I, I, 
I can relate to a lot of that stuff. Uh, I mean, fortunately, when I was uh, going through all of that with my kids, you know, it was either I had a babysitter or, you know, some days I didn't have that. Some days it was just, I have to own up to it and, and uh, uh, deal with the responsibilities. And maybe it's not the greatest thing. It doesn't always bring pleasure to not have your own time to yourself. But make the most of it. Because as you get older, if you're a parent, I, I can attest to this right now. And I, I will say this until my, my kids are gone. But you, you do regain that space. Uh, you, you regain a lot of things that you used to have. But it's really up to you to take advantage of that time that you have. Like for me, I mean, I, I've spent time to learn how to, you know, edit videos or uh, building computers and in, in, in different form factors or uh, adding new parts to a computer that I've never done. Like just trying new things always uh, builds the confidence and the uh, the brain power uh, just for you. It's not just for other people when you're learning things. Like for me, I'm maybe making these videos to help other people, and that's kind of selfish, I guess, but I'm learning it for me because when I make these videos down the line, Hopefully they become a little bit better or a little bit more uh, comprehensible and and uh, maybe there's comments you know sometime in the future. I don't really ask for them because it doesn't really bother me if no one leaves comments. I know that's probably the the dumbest thing to say and probably the backward thing to say, but I don't mind just the views. I don't mind that people will, you know, take what they want or can from the things that I make and, you know, use that for themselves. That, that, that pleases me to know that someone else is going to have a better life. I want you to have a better life, but you're going to have to want it for yourself too. And I'll say things over and over again. I'll repeat things over and over again on these videos just because... It's true. Everything that you and I go through, everything that we will go through in the future, uh, might not always be easy. But be true to yourself. Love yourself. It'll help you love others. Have a good weekend.